Android development, like any other field of software development, feels hard to start in because you need to learn many things before building your first application. You need Java or Kotlin, understand simple programming concepts, understanding the Android ecosystem, etc. Salam alaikum. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel again. In this video, we will see the top three resources to start learning Android development and the different things you need to learn to become an Android developer. Before we start, let me tell you something very important. It is impossible to become a developer overnight. There isn't a thing called overnight success, especially in software development field. So make it very comfortable to spend months and years learning this field or any other software development field. The first place you can learn from is the Android official documentation. This place is inevitable. You can find here training courses and training options that are right for you. For example, for beginners, there are some courses. There are also some certification degree programs and also some resources for advanced Android developers. You can see all them here. And when you become an Android developer, this place will always be your go-to place. You will find here some examples, some code snippets, some code projects also, and many more. Any new thing that appears in Android, you will find it here immediately. There is also a great website called Udacity. This website provides good resources and also some free courses. Go here and check for full catalog here. And here you can, well, there are some paid options. Go to the price and select free. And here search for the topic where well, you can learn any topic here. There are some great topics from artificial intelligence, cloud, and many things. Search for the topic of Android development. All right. And here in the Android development, the first course you should take is Android Basic User Interface. This is part of five courses. This course is made with the collaboration of Google Expert, so you are in the right hands. You will learn the right things. This course is part of five other courses, which are user input, multiple app screen, networking, and data storage. Well, the materials here are somehow old. You will learn Java, for example, but you won't learn, for example, Jetpack Compose or Kotlin or the new things. All right, but there are some other courses here also you can take. For example, there is, let me search for it. There is Kotlin Bootcamp for programmers. You will learn how Kotlin works and how to implement it. Developing Android apps with Kotlin. This is a great course also, which is new also. Always brought to you by Google experts. You will find all the Google experts here. Advanced Android development with Kotlin. I will put all the links in the description below. All right. This is also a great advanced course in which you learn modifications, advanced graphing, animation, testing, for example, which is great scale and much more. On Coursera website, there is also some great specialization called Android app development. You can take this for free or apply for financial aid if you want to get the certificate. But here we want to learn things, all right? This course is somehow also old. You will learn Java, but you will learn the basic thing. You will learn intent, activity, services, for example, and much more, all right? That's the first one. The second one is on Skillshare. On Skillshare, for example, well, you can get a month for free if you use the link in the description below. And there are some courses here you can take to learn Android also. Next, we have YouTube. There is some great channels and content on YouTube for free, but you have to follow the right channel. First channel we have is the official Android developer channel brought to you by Google developers. You can see here all the new things in Android, how to implement them and much more. That's the first channel. The second channel we have here is Coding with Mitch. Also, this channel provides some high quality Android tutorial videos. You'll find some great playlists here. For example, you can learn health, for example. You can learn Kotlin routines, testing, UI testing, and much more. Next channel here, we have Philip Lackner. I hope I spelled it correctly. Philip Lackner also provides some great Android development tutorials in a practical way. So you implement all the things in the videos. There are also some great playlists here. For example, you can find Jetpack Compose, testing some clone applications like Spotify and much more. There is also the channel of Coding in Flow with more than 200k subscribers. Here you can find many content about Android, some podcasts with Android developers, with real Android developers, and also some great playlists to learn beginner things and more advanced things. And there is also my channel. I just started this journey on YouTube, but I will make different videos and tutorials for different things about Android, software engineering, and also some productivity hub for developers, so consider subscribing. Next, we have articles. Articles are great because they contain condensed amount of information. Here on the first website is Medium. You can find some great articles and publication. For example, the first publication is the official Android developer publication. Here you can find all the new things in Android and you will get the chance to practice them. For example, you can see data store and testing. 
you see how to test the data store and they provide also some code snippet to follow along. The second publication is Pro Android Dev. This is also a great publication and there are some other great developers who don't have time to record videos so they post their information as articles. Next we have Hashnode. Hashnode also provides some great articles you can search for example for Android here and the final website is Rye Wenderlich. I hope I spelled it correctly. Rye Wenderlich in here you can find articles just go to Android and Kotlin and here in articles. Here there are great articles you can learn for example search this recycled reselection library. The articles are great they are structured in a way you can learn different things there are some code snippets you can download to practice the thing in the article there is also a premium option you can check here for example they have good books and some learning path but this thing are paid here they have also some books which are premium option a paid option there are big book for beginners they have professional books for example you have test driven development dagger which is dependency injection jetpack compose which is new library for building user interface in Kotlin or Android and much more. Next we have Google Code Labs. Google Code Labs provide a hands-on way to learn some technologies of Google. For example, you can search here, there is Android, there is Firebase, there is MLKit for example, but we want Android for example. Here you can search something you want to learn. For example, I will learn something about, let's say Jetpack Compose theming. Here in the lab, you will try to build an application and follow a practical thing. For example, they will tell you how to download the materials here. There are some great explanation and code snippet, I think. Let me see some code snippet. Exactly, there is some code snippet. You can see what the code is doing and much more. And as a result, you will build an application that fulfill a concept. This is how you can work with Google Code Labs. Finally, we have books. I know this option requires money, but this is the best investment you can make for your career. I'm not talking to Android specifically, but books about Android and general software engineering. Let me emphasize a little bit about the last one. It is not just about Android. There are many other things you should learn as a developer that are general in coding and software development craftsmanship. For example, there is a book called Clean Code by Uncle Bob. In this book, you will learn how to write a clean code that pleases your eyes. There are books also on creating solid architecture. So adding a new feature or fixing existing one will be easier in the future. I know these points may not seem attractive at the moment because you want just to build an application as quickly as possible and see the result as quickly as possible. But these concepts will make you stand out and become a good developer. Something else to mention is that when you learn this concept, you can apply them in Android, iOS, web development, and wherever there is software development or software based. So if you decide to do a shift in your career and start completely in your domain, you have the basics on creating useful, maintainable, and efficient software. So consider learning these basics while learning Android. In the description below, I will put seven books every software developer should read. The seven books are Clean Architecture by Uncle Bob, Clean Code by Uncle Bob, Refactoring by Martin Fowler, Domain Driven Design by Eric Evans, Design Patterns by The Gang of Four, Working Effectively by Michael Feeders, and finally, Test Driven Development by Example by Kent Beck. These books are amazing. So this is it for this video. I hope you got some website and resources in mind. As I said, this will take time. For sure, it will take time. But it will be a fun journey and hopefully you will be an Android developer. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.